Hey guys, welcome back to Marissa Explains It All. I am just getting back from a baby shower that I co-hosted for my bestie, Kim, since she's expecting her little daughter, Mila. Um, so I'm so excited. We had a great time. I think the shower was beautiful and Kim picked a great theme. So I love to get inspiration from other videos and blog posts and sites like Catch My Party. So I figured what I'd do is I would film some of the elements that we made and bought um, today for the shower so that if you're interested in this theme too, then you can kind of follow along and maybe make some of those things for your shower or a next event. Um, so this was a bright colored um, floral kaleidoscope kind of geometric themed party. Um, so I'll walk you through some of the videos of what we did and put some links in the descriptions below if you're interested in buying or um, you know crafting some of the things that we made. And so if you're interested in that, stay tuned and I'll be right back. So when you first walk in this space, I made this beautiful glass signage. So I did a video tutorial on this on my channel. So if you missed it, I will go ahead and post it in the description below. We sat this on an easel that I spray painted like a champagne gold. And then I posted some really colorful, bright, large balloons. These are 36 inch. Next, walking into the space, I hung some tassels and I got these from Amazon. I actually bought three packs and had to sort of glue each color together because they weren't full enough. And then I just suspended them from Baker's Twine at varying heights. And we did this um, in the front of the space as well as over the food table um, just to give it some color and some dimension. And it was really pretty how it all turned out. Um, then in the, the foyer of the space, we actually just kind of framed the Don't Say Baby uh, instructions with a Dollar Tree frame and sat the uh, clothespins next to it. And then to the right, we were able to hang the dessert backdrop. So this is just Dollar Tree foam core board that I painted with acrylic paints. And then I took a handful of those um, little boards and actually glued some Dollar Tree flowers to them. And on that space, we hung, um, we sort of propped up the donut board. And this was just a glass um, whiteboard that I'd had already. And I put some vinyl signage on it and then uh, super glued some pegs to hold the donuts. And similarly, I had another one that was just sort of matching. It was a whiteboard that we uh, put vinyl signage on to say cookies. And um, for the little platform shelves, I bought some wood from Lowe's and cut it up in little platform pieces and painted them and super glued those on as well. And they hung up the cookies just fine. For the cupcakes, I just made some cupcake toppers by um, cutting out various geometric shapes and hot gluing them together on a toothpick and then also made some banana pudding cups. So this was the dessert table altogether, and in the middle there was a DIY tutorial that I did for the cake stand as well. And so I'll link that in the description below if you want to copy that. Next up is favors, and so I actually just baked some banana nut muffins and used a round circle punch um, to cut out the circle tags and with the baby's name on it. And then I also did some cupcake wraps with my silhouette cameo and just kind of put them in some bags. And this signage was done with uh, a Dollar Tree um, glass board that I applied some vinyl to and some colorful cardstock shapes. So I just hot glued them to the board, the glass. So this was the food spread and it is beautiful. I love this sequin cable cloth and we use it for a lot of our events. This is from Party Crush Studio and I'll put the link in the description below. And for each of the dishes that she, the mother to be made, uh, we put a little um, agate geode slice next to it on a, a tiny little stand. And I just used my Silhouette Cameo 3 to cut out uh, the names of each of the dishes in vinyl and apply those. And I love these little geodes. They're so versatile and we use them for a lot of different things. I think they're actually coasters but they double very well um, for this uh, little food tags. And we just put the different dishes on or on different plates and um, it was all super delicious. I put some fresh greenery on the table as well. Next by the window, we had this beautiful balloon garland that we purchased from Australia from a company called Poppies for Grace. And it's actually quite deceiving. It looks um, small here, but it's a huge window and these balloons are quite large. It was really colorful. And here we have a little space for cards and gifts and I just followed my DIY glass sign tutorial to make that and then just placed a little piece of cardstock in a, in a glass tray. And these were the uh, prizes for the games that we played and I just uh, printed out some vinyl um, onto some tumblers and we filled those with some bath and body stuff um, and inside each of the cups uh, we actually had this little uh, onesie that I used my silhouette cameo to print and it just says from our shower to yours. I thought that was kind of a cute idea. And this was the mama to be and she looks beautiful and glowing and so happy. 
So that's everything. I think it turned out super cute. Um, if you have questions, let me know. If you're interested in this type of video and party planning in general, then please hit subscribe below and I will see you next time. Thank you.